So if you take this exam as a challenge, you will be able to do it and I believe that you will be able to do it. So I want you all to be remembered as you have tried. I am not saying you to top the exam, but in whatever time you have, at least give your 100%, right? I would say give your 110%. So I want you all to keep on trying in whatever days that are left because yes, it will make a difference. Whatever you will do will make a difference in your career. If you don't know me, I am an ENT and head neck surgeon, Shivam Kesavani, right? So I run this channel, I just started this channel as a hobby and whenever I get time, I try to make videos to help you all. Still things are possible, don't lose hope for the ones who are thinking that it is not possible for you, I am telling you that you still can do it, try to revise whatever things that are left, try to read those subjects in which you are having fear. If you are having fear in pharmacology, pick it up now and read some chapters, it will help you to reduce your fear. If you have left anything like ECG in medicine, read it now. So, you have come to your last days of NEET PG 2021 and I know how tough is this phase for you. And I was not able to talk to so many people and solve their queries individually. So let us talk here in this live session. Now the main important focus for you in this live session is to make you realize that nothing is too difficult. Right? So this phase that you are going, you still have time. Just remember the phase when you were giving your MBBS profs and other, when you were completing so many things in just one day. Right? So you still have, if you see, you still have a week with you. So don't get anxiety, pressure or anything that will reduce your output for the main exam. And to achieve success in anything, you need these four pillars. That is mindset, soul set, heart set and the beast mode. Right? So have that mindset that you will be able to crack this exam because you have been working for so long right so don't have any uncertainty in your mind because if you think like exam pattern badal gaya so exam pattern badal gaya is exam pattern has changed for everybody right it is not that exam sirf mere liye badla hai ya uske liye badla hai it is it has changed for everybody so yahan pe kya hota hai ki there is an advantage and there is a disadvantage the advantage is everybody has to face the new type of questions right disadvantage is because you were preparing so you think you are more prone to the previous year's type of question but realize that when i got selected or whenever the success rate of the selection is more there is always a drift in the cell in the pattern of question i cleared my exam in 2017 then also there was change in the pattern so take this change in pattern as a good signal for your results that would be coming right so i am saying take this in a positive mo note that the exam questions will be will be new for everybody and if it is new and you are solid in your concept you will be able to answer it so don't think that exam would be difficult think like exam will would be new for everybody and the result will depend how effectively you will be able to analyze the question so in this new pattern you will be getting more time to read and understand the question so tip number one is be patient control your nerves and read the question properly right read the question properly read the options properly and then try to answer because what is happening if I give, give you an example there was a question where the patient was giving a history of uh, coming from a war zone and in the question it was given that the patient came with a complaints of hearing loss patient was a soldier coming from a war zone then they had said patient was taking some ototoxic drug also right but that was a systemic drug and not for or you can say the patient was taking hydrochlorothiazide for hypertension and then in the options the reasons were sensory neural hearing loss due to ototoxicity or due to noise trauma. They also gave a audiometry that is where you were seeing a dip at 4K. So what all they are trying to do is they, they want to confuse you between the hearing loss of a ototoxic drug or due to noise trauma. So you know that there is a dip in the 4K when it is due to noise trauma. So once you read, you will be able to answer it properly. So don't get confused with the questions because anyway examiners know or they want you to confuse so once you read the question properly you will be or you definitely would be able to answer it right another thing is what is needed at this present time is your perseverance any great thing any great achievement that has been achieved is not because that person was very intelligent or that person was great it is achieved due to the perseverance and the daily efforts that they have been putting over the time right if an intelligent person or if your intelligent friend is not giving the effort, is not reading, he won't be able to perform well. But if you being an average one is giving more effort than the intelligent one, you will be able to score more. So don't think that you are less than anybody. What will determine success in this exam is your hard work. Take this seven days as do or die, right? Go into the beast mode and 
just give whatever you have give the maximum that you have take this part as a challenge right so challenges are the things that makes our life interesting and overcoming them gives you a feel of goodness so if you take this exam as a challenge you will be able to do it and i believe that you will be able to do it so i want you all to be remembered as you have tried i'm not saying you to stop the exam but in whatever time you have at least give your 100% right i would say give your 110% because this 10 15 days if you keep on working if you keep on the push or the trust that you were giving for these long you will be able to perform very good right so just think the day when your result is coming you should not have any regret that you have given less effort that was needed for this exam so don't get any procrastination any fear that whether you will be able to answer in the main exam or not believe that whatever you read in this 10 15 days everything you will be able to remember and i'll tell you that whatever you have read from the very first day of your mbbs life everything will be helping you to clear this exam so don't think that your preparation is just this one or two months if you many people have this doubt that sir i have started seriously just four months before i was doing duties before that will i be able to compete with the other people who who are just sitting and reading for two years remember that whatever work you have done whatever knowledge medical knowledge you have gained from the first day of your medical life everything is going to help you in this main exam so this exam is not about what you have read last year this exam is all about what you know and how skillfully you can apply your knowledge to solve the questions so be relaxed be ch- chilled right so you all are cool people be cool and you will be able to get where you want to be right so i want you all to keep on trying in whatever days that are left because yes it will make a difference whatever you will do will make a difference in your career and what you can do in this left 7 days is try to solve more mcq and just focus on the revision right just focus on the revision if you have made notes read it read it again if you have read from some app revise them again and what extra you can do is focus more on the clinical subject subjects means starting from the pathology pharmacology then coming to the third year subjects i ent then finally year that is your medicine gynae gynae ops orthopedics psychiatry dermatology so and these things basically the clinical parts because what they will be doing is they will be giving you a clinical scenario they will be presenting a patient to you like you see in emergency ward or in the opd from there they can enter the pharmacology from there they'll enter the anatomy right you're getting my point so they'll start with the clinical scenario like a patient presented to you with angina now they can ask you what you will be giving what drug you will be giving what investigation you will be doing so this is the approach this is the right way actually of asking question because anyway once you become a doctor you have to treat a patient as a whole you can't treat a patient like a ear patient or a nose patient or a throat patient you have to treat him as a whole right so this is the way they want you to understand and become a good doctor right so in this last days don't lose hope don't think that you can't do it think that everything and this thing is possible for you i don't know about other things but getting a good rank getting a good seat that you deserve is possible for you so keep your face towards the sun sign and the shadow will be falling behind so this this means these many days are not for having a low energy these days are for reaching your maximum eat healthy sleep healthy and put whatever you have in the time that is left i am not here to tell you what to read what not to read how to read by now you know everything you have done your maximum don't feel that you are less than anybody your preparation is less than anybody think like you are the best candidate that is going to sit in the examination right don't think that your friend is superior to you he know better than you i'll tell you examples means i have seen from my life from my career there there were many f- friends of mine in the pre medical era also who were like i have read it 10 times i have read it 5 times and i was the one who who was not able to complete even once right but i got selected and they got they also got selected but second or third time so it doesn't matter ki how many times you have revised what matters is how good you are at grasping things how good you are in reading it even if you are reading it once so have that faith that you are the best and in these many days one tip that i would want you to give is try repeating some affirmations to you right so in the night time try saying to you that you have a fantastic memory and your fantastic memory will be remembering everything in the exam right so try saying this statement five times i have a fantastic memory my fantastic memory will be remembering everything right so this will help you to reduce the procrastination the fear that whether you'll be able to recall things in the exam whether you'll be able to remember the pharmacology which has been revised one month back because you can't revise everything all the 19 subject in this 7 10 days you have to act smartly right you have to act smartly and try to finish off things that are left so be smart in at the things in this last time and believe that you will be able to do it right so you will be able to do it and 
I want to hear the success story from you because I want you are the ones who are coming now, newer generation. So I want you all to inspire your juniors. I started these things because I wanted to help you all, right? Although my time these days are little busy, but still I wanted to talk to you to convey that still things are possible. Don't lose hope for the ones who are thinking that it is not possible for you. I'm telling you that you still can do it. Try to revise whatever things that are left. Try to read those subjects in which you are having fear. If you are having fear in pharmacology, pick it up now and read some chapters. It will help you to reduce your fear. If you have left anything like ECG in medicine, read it now. There is no time that means the time will never be more. If you think that this one week is less, I will tell you that time will never be more. If your exam would be tomorrow, then you should be reading like this. Means assume that your exam is not two weeks after, assume that your exam is tomorrow and read whatever you want to read now and today itself, right? So with the positive note, I will end this and what I can do is I'll, I can give you my number in the details where you can like, if you have any more doubts, you can WhatsApp me. Okay, so I'll be replying you whenever I get time. Another thing is I'll post a link where this PDF is there, how not to miss things. Basically, this is a collection of some important topics from each subject. So I want you all to go through it. It will hardly take 10, 15 minutes of your every day that is left. But what it will do is it will revise your important charts. It will revise your important topics from each 19 subjects, right? So it was it is available in, in Amazon, but delivery would take it time. You download the app. It is there. You will get the PDF and read it, right? In this last time, I want you to not to miss things that everybody else know. So this is another one strategy that in, a, in any competition, what is important is not to make mistakes in the common things. If you are mistaking in the common things, you are out of the race. So you have to try to make all the questions that others are making right, that everybody knows that has been taught by your coaching. Because if you think that DAMS has taught this, so everybody, every student of DAMS would be having that thing in their notes and there is high probability that everybody out there will be making it right. So if you make that thing wrong, you are somewhere lagging behind. Same applies for Marrow, same applies for PrepLadder and any other platform. So try to not to make mistakes in the common things and that is only possible if you keep on revising the core things and do not move out of it in this last time because you can't cover everything. Every subject is so vast that it takes a lifetime to understand and read it. In this last time, just focus on the main things, revise the less read subjects or the fewer subjects, focus more on clinical because of the new pattern and have faith that you will be able to do it. So we'll meet after the exam and I want to know how you have managed your difficult time and concurred and reached to your position when this exam gets over, right? So life is beautiful. Just have some more patience for a few days and you'll be there where you want to reach. So I would end this with this. and. If you don't know me, I'm an ENT and head neck surgeon, Shivam Kesavani, right? So I run this channel. I just started this channel as a hobby. And whenever I get time, I try to make videos to help you all. I also have an app that is Medex. You can get it from the app store. It is there. You can download it. We'll be putting more content. And I have authored some book. So this is my short intro. And I love to interact with you all, help you all in whatever time I get. So all the love and best wishes from myself stay happy and stay healthy in this COVID time. Second wave is coming. Use all the possible precautions because I don't want anybody of you to get ill in this difficult, in this crucial time, I must say, and do whatever it takes to reach where you are dreaming of or where you are destined to, right? So stay happy, take care and all the best. Thank you.